been damaged since I wanna love and be happy, but I be panicking I try to display my love like it's a mannequin But to my face I got played, so it ain't happening Like, hold on, I been holding on to her for so long Willing to do what I gotta do to move on Hold on, I been holding on to her for so long Hey you guys, this is your girl Plus Size Shay Before we get into the video, I would like to say Thank you, Pa Shoppy, for sending me these clothes They are absolutely fashionable to the T um i tried to try them on but i was just like it's just not gonna work um we're gonna you're gonna see in this video but if anybody would like to buy these clothes i am going to sell them at half price i'll be sure to link their description uh their website in the description bar um i'll be sure to say how much the original piece was and they're going for half price and that also includes shipping so if you would like these clothes then by all means hit your girl up first comes first serve also i do have um about three more items that i am selling and those items just pay for shipping because i'm like just pay for the shipping and basically what it do y'all i got sherelle as my model as she would say exhibit a so this is what the jacket is looking like as you can see it's nice in camo i love the little sequence in the arms right here that's pretty much all i could fit was the arm part the back didn't stretch out i don't know if it's because of the sequence or not but it does come with the belt so as you can see you can tie this belt around you and it does have you know the two little loop ho the two loopholes that goes around y'all we was over there having music and all that playing in there so you know i had to do a voiceover so you can tie it just like this you know she ain't come to play you start holding them boobs up baby it's giving what it's gonna give but it's a little tight or you can just wear this some as a headband Two for one, baby. You already know how they do. Okay, she gonna tie it up. And I'm gonna show y'all the little back. Nice little sequence. It does not move, but it has that bedazzle, bedazzle that you gonna for sure show up in. So, I also have another Exhibit B with some bigger boobies. And, yeah, they ain't big boob friendly. It, it don't fit. Look, look. It's all the for it. Where you got all this ass? It ain't gonna fit. It ain't gonna fit. Now, this is what you're gonna get. Don't buy this if you think any hips ain't got an ass, okay? Oh, yeah. When your midsection is a little bit right here, you got a little bit of this, it ain't gonna work. This is for flat asses. With a no stomach, because you can't handle no stomach. I mean, he is cute, though. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, he is cute, though. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. I freaking love Surreal, bro. Not with the half jumpsuit, though. It's cute, though. I tried. Honestly, we don't think these sizes are true to a size 4X. It's nice though. So this is a very nice set. The pants that she has on are her pants. They do come with a pair of black pants that only got to her thighs. The sizing on these, I don't know. Y'all got to fix the size on them because y'all say this is a 4X. Baby, it don't feel like a 4X because I'm a size 4 to 5X. Hell, she's about a 3 to a 4X, and it's just not giving what it's supposed to give. And, I mean, we got two different body types. So, I'm just like, it should be able to fit, you know, somebody. But she does like the pattern. Uh, it's wonderful, wonderful material. I would give them that. It's definitely A1 material. You are going to get your money's worth for the material. The sizing, I'm not so sure about Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. So, um, I just left an appointment and I'm about to be on my way to Walmart to pick up a grocery haul. I went shopping um, last night. So, like I said, I'm about to start posting a cooking video once a week. And I think today I'm just going to include the cooking video inside this vlog because ever since I went to Whole Foods and got that salmon salad, that's what I've been craving. I got some salmon and I ordered some salad stuff, so that's what we're having tonight for dinner. Um, 
as y'all can tell i did a little bit of makeup i only did my eyebrows eyelashes and i really just used some foundation to get these eyebrows looking right and you know just a little powder to not make me look oily i got my natural hair in today so i just did a little part you know a little swoop a doop 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 you know how i do so yeah i think i'm gonna go home and drop this stuff off put it in the refrigerator and we'll be on to our next mission okay y'all have a good day they're coming you guys all right so everything is here correct so you didn't get a substitution. Everything's here. Just it tells us that we cannot release the mozzarella cheese to you. Okay. That it's a no sale. Okay. It might be on recall or something like that. But there's just something in our system that lets us know that we cannot release it to you. Okay. So you'll see a difference in the total, but probably three or four dollars or so forth. Okay. But everything else is here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Be everything in your trunk today? Yes. All right. Have a great day. You too. Y'all, y'all better check on that. It might be a recall on some mozzarella cheese. Um, I mean, I usually buy mozzarella cheese, but I usually just buy the Mexican uh, blend one. Y'all can see them putting it back there. Um, I'll just go to a different store um, and get it later down the week because I'm like, I do got some cheese at home. I just wanted some mozzarella cheese on my salad oh yeah my car went down that was the water but safety first let's not record and drive okay y'all i don't know why but i should have did a refrigerator clean out with y'all yesterday but i'm kind of trying to do it now but y'all my refrigerator just ain't big enough like this be killing me so, and I do not like the way my refrigerator has the, uh, let me just show y'all, has these freaking things. So I just restocked my egg, well those are my eggs, but I just restocked in here so I just have my cheese, I have some yogurt, and you know like the little packages, my little throw the eggs. Um, I have to do something with this. Um, here's my coffee that I never opened. Um, here's some sugar-free juice from last night. Um, I need to throw this one away. And I need to throw these pineapples out because I do not eat them. Um, yeah, I be trying to have a hard time where I want to put my drinks right here or I want to put them at the bottom. I'm about to, um, this is the time that I'm about to cook tonight. So, I don't know what I'm about to do with these. I'm about to do something. I'm about to uh, wipe my refrigerator down right here. And clean that up. Real, real quick. Um, y'all, y'all know I be putting my groceries and stuff in my wagon. My wagon was full. And there was not a parking spot closer to the door. So, that's in the car. But, usually I take all my water bottles out and, you know, just place them somewhere and stack my waters. But... When I was looking at Walmart, I was looking for the pork rinds that's like popcorn and you put it in the microwave. I did not see those, but I think I might try to find them on Amazon. But I did pick up the salt and vinegar ones because you can have these because I thought these were zero calories. Okay, well, maybe you ain't supposed to have these. They say eight or calories, but I thought... You could have those like on, I'm not doing keto or nothing, but I thought you could have those for like a snack or whatever. So portion control those since it's probably the salt and vinegar on them. Don't worry y'all. Oh, damn. Y'all got a little boob action today. Don't worry, my dishes are clean. I just gotta put them up. Oh, uh, sometimes you know how you just be shopping and stuff. As y'all know, I bought these freaking Pasta Zero. I don't even know if they expire yet because I ain't cooked them yet. I'm going to have to look up how to cook these. Some people was telling me how to cook them, but 
baby girl. I got to be having too many comments. And then, uh, let me show y'all something I had bought a couple times ago. I told y'all I'd be on some Korean stuff or Japanese stuff, whatever. So I have found some udon noodles. I wanted to do a playoff udon noodles with like, you know, like the egg and all that. And I found some spicy ramen sauce. So, you know, you just put it in the, what you call it? it says bone broth. Um, well, I can't use this because it's expired September 7th. So that's going in the trash. But, oh shit. But yeah, y'all gotta kind of fix this stuff up. Also got another clear container. But I need to put like my um, ham or whatever, you know, little stuff like this in here. I'm going to take these out because I don't want these to break my thing. Y'all, let me know if y'all and y'all refrigerator, do y'all got some refrigerator organizers? Okay, that's all I'm going to show y'all. Um, next time y'all see me, we will be on to our next project. Okay, see you later. It's me trying to check my emails and you just want to sit up there? Is that what we're doing? Palace, is that what we're doing, Mama? Huh? Hey. Hey. Why do you have your paws on my booty? But girl. Hello? Hello? Alright then. guys so I finally made it to the park and I've kind of been wanting to do this for a while now but um, I don't know why I was hesitating to do it so we're going to um, I don't know what you would call it like I've, like I've seen it on TikTok I thought about it myself but I guess uh, we're gonna say we're gonna get rid of negative energy. Mm -hmm. So, I bought me a plate from the dollar store. And I have my box of Sharpies. So, we're just going to take the Sharpies and we're just gonna write the dead energy away. Positive vibes only. And we're gonna get into it so I would say this is something that you would do when you're trying to get on a fresh start a new path to whatever journey you're trying to do um, I don't know whatever's in your heart just let it flow write write me a damn song on here but I'm gonna just turn it around and let y'all see it um, I'm actually over here at the park Jay's actually uh, practicing basketball. So, he's all like, you don't ever come watch me play. So, um, here supporting a friend and his teammates. 
Y'all see Palace? Hey, Palace. Hey, Mama. So, yes, Palace is with me. Um, let's just get started. I was thinking about going live right now, but I was just like, no, nah, I'm gonna just, you know, put this to the little vlog. So I'm about to write my stuff on here. Um, I'm gonna write some stuff and then I probably would just keep some stuff to myself. Um, after you write all the stuff down, you will wanna break the glass. But I'm like, I don't wanna break because of my kids at a park and there's a school nearby. So I would just throw it into the trash can. Or break it into the trash can. All right. Y'all couldn't even see it that much because there's trees in the way. Um, I'm thinking about moving benches because there was somebody sitting there. Uh, let's see if we can just zoom in. I don't know, he's somewhere over there in the blue. But it's just me supporting a friend. Yeah. Oh, there he go. I think I'm gonna move. Okay, so you know what? Um, I'm gonna change this one to positive vibes only. I was gonna make one, you know, getting away, you know, the negative energy or whatever. So I'm just gonna do a little of both because I'm like, I don't wanna confuse people of what I write and then I'm saying something totally different. So I'm like, I'm just gonna write what flows off my mind and go from there. Y'all, I done brushed this little damn piece and it just won't freaking stay up there. Like, that's really bothering me. Really bothering me. This is pretty much what I added onto my plate. And I will be writing some more stuff that I do not want to show y'all onto this plate, but I am going to keep this plate. Well, actually, you know what? I can keep this one as positive vibes only since I did buy two plates. And I can do the other one with releasing whatever it is that I need to get off my chest. So I think this is a good idea. Uh, for couples do it yourself i mean it's just something creative and it doesn't even smear okay you guys so i put a couple of teaspoons of olive oil inside my pan i'm gonna let that heat up and then i'm gonna put my salmon in here and season it so my oil is getting hot That is my salmon. I'm gonna do garlic powder. Onion powder. Oh shit. Black pepper. And then I'm gonna just throw some blackened season on here. Um, I don't usually cook my salmon in here. I usually put it in the air fryer, but I just feel like cutting it up because either I'm going to cut into strips or I'm really just going to pick the salmon off and put it on top of my salad. Oh, bless me. If you ain't see, if you ain't, if what I, what I be saying, if you ain't, if you, and what was it? If you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. 
I'm just put my top on here so it can cook all the way through. Y'all, the skin is crispy as hell. I'm about to understand. I can't even get up with one hand. But I'm gonna have to uh, try to stuff this air fry because this ain't cooked. Or unless I'm gonna keep trying to burn the bottom. I mean, it ain't burning bad. It's gonna come off the skin. Okay, so the skin came clean bone off that one. I just put it in here. Cook it some more. I don't think it's cooked. You know, and then I'm gonna just chop it up. Probably season it a little more. No, it looks like it's cooked. I'm gonna just chop it up and just heat it for some more. I wanna love and be happy, but I be panicking. I try to display my love like it's a man.